Well, tonight is being called the world's biggest online brothel, Backpage.com. Now the CEO is under arrest. Victim advocates are hoping the spotlight will now turn on the young girls victimized. KCAL 9's Stacey Butler has more. So we're going to put you in a vehicle. Every Friday night on a Santa Ana side street known for prostitution, Pastor Kevin Brown gathers church members from eight Orange County ministries to fight human trafficking. They start by looking for victims on Backpage.com. If you look at the number of women, today's a Friday night in Orange County, there's over 100, 100 separate victims who are posted on back page tonight just for Orange County. But this Friday night is different. Brown says he's noticing fewer girls on the streets and fewer pimps parked in cars waiting. He suspects that's because Backpage.com, the most popular online marketplace to buy and sell sex in the world, is now under a microscope after the CEO was arrested in Texas yesterday for allowing ads for child sex trafficking. Backpage is by far the number one desired website for perpetrators to use in order to make uh, a date to contact a victim. 55-year-old Carl Ferrer was charged with pimping children and other counts. In a joint investigation, California and Texas authorities found that adults and children had been forced into prostitution through escort ads on Backpage. Well, this is actually something that anti-human trafficking workers across the United States have been praying about, that there would be this action, because we know that Backpage is the number one uh, website used by traffickers to post their victims. Backpage is still up and running, but Pastor Brown is hopeful that just the arrest of the CEO will shine a light on just how widespread the problem is of young girls out here on the streets being trafficked. In Santa Ana, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.